With that, I welcome you to the fifth episode of this project. We left off after the war against the Saxons, against Duke Ordulf of Westphalia, also known as Saxony. I might even rename this title after that. But yeah, this is basically the Saxon Dukedom or Duchy. All right, well, with that, we of course conquered the Mittelmark, and the last province to conquer is now Magdeburg. And Magdeburg can be conquered in 1076, or when he dies early, even as early as. I don't know, I mean, he is infirm, the character is infirm and suffers from a sickly disposition. He could die, and then his son, Magnus Ordnusunu will be the um, next heir, and he is a very incapable leader. He is a groomed guy, he looks beautiful, but he's frail and just trusting. And he's even known to be an adulterer, so yeah, trusting, hmm. And he has even one bastard son that he legitimized, at least he um, acknowledged as a son, but he didn't legitimize him. Thankma Magnus Sunu. So yeah, in this kingdom there is a lot of despair. A lot of confusion so we personally as the Nordmark people we just wait until all goes down and the current Duke dies and when he dies we will call once again the great coalition of the Bohemian Meissen and North Gaulians to destroy the West to destroy the Saxon kingdom once again and reconquer Magdeburg and with that re-establishing our entire claim on this region all right, so I'm just, just going to let the game run for a bit. Oh yeah, I can recite what a Regenlied should learn. Let's go with stewardship, I guess. And assign a guardian. Yes, and assign a new guardian. Also, we cannot forget, if she marries this guy, Wilhelm Wilhelming, we have to send him a gift of 50 gold. Yeah, 50 gold, because we didn't overcome the... Um, limit of three provinces has voted against the tribal obligation. Yeah, there's right now a vote in the um, highest council, not the imperial council, because the imperial court, I mean. Oh, it's even called court. Uh, Emperor Heinrich the Fearless has created the Dutch title Duchy of Wittenberg, and also, why is there no music? Oh, yeah, okay, <laughs> there is the music. Just make it a bit wider. Right. Um, what about other marriages? It's at Burger, then we have to send some gold to Bratislav. Emperor Heinrich the Fearless is with the Duchy of Western Franconia. Yeah, he tries to make his way to control lands, and for that he has created Jülich and Western Franconia, not Eastern. Eastern Franconia is actually held by Duke Leudolf von Comburg. And now our little imbecile son can start learning his certain skills. And because he learned some skills, we will decide it um, with chance. So let's get the dice simulator. And one, two, three. He gets the number six. Meaning one, two, three, four, five, six. He will be educated in thriftness. And of course, his guardian will then be also Michael together with his sister. All right, Emperor Heinrich the Fearless created the t County Palatine of the Rhine. The Pfalz. Grafschaft, as we call it in German. Yeah, the County Palatine. Let's see who will get this. I mean, I don't know. Who shall? Ooh, and it seems like it will go to Beatrix. Oh, hopefully, get some children. And now he also created the Duchy of Austria. Interesting, interesting. Will he give it to the of Babenberger? Let's wait. No, to the Ottokaren, interestingly. Ah, so we have a different dynasty as the Austrians, a different first dynasty, instead of the von Babenberg. There are now the Ottokaren who rule Austria. 
And we have to pay some interest. Ah, that was um, unnecessary because I was closely to pay my loans, actually. And there is my... Alright, Duke Ordulf inherited the county of Efferstein. Mm -hmm. The blessed of Efferstein. Emperor Heinrich created the dukedom of Ivera. Mm -hmm. Your marshal. My god! <laughs> I think we will put this one now on hold. It is a bit. It is a bit much. Your Marshal Lima has inherited a uh, has initiated a massive recruitment drive in Altmark. Oop, let's destroy all of them. And the seduction focus can be taken off. And we will try to do some theology to truly focus ourselves to um, relinquish one of those faithless heathens in the West. Oh, so I want to revoke the titles. Why can't I? There's a valid barony in a county held by Baron uh, Margrave Udo II. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, sadly I cannot. An invitation! My lord, we received an invitation to visit the great monastery at Clunny. It would make uh, for a most interesting journey. Clunny Abbey has grown to great prominence and power since it's given independence by the Duke of Burgundy in 910. Um, actually interested. Clunny. Oops. Bishopric of Clunny. Bishop Robert of Clunny. Sub subject now only to the Pope and supported by extensive lands as well as great generous donations, it's a great center of wealth and learning. The Abbey's church is the largest in Europe, not even the greatest cathedrals in Rome or Constantinople can match. Of course, this is a wonderful opportunity. A completely wonderful opportunity. The Clunny Abbey. So this is the famous Clunny Abbey. The great church towers majestically over... Well, move it. The great church towers majestically over an extensive complex of buildings. The surrounding farmlands are rich and fertile, with peasants toiling to bring the fruits to the land of the coffers of the monastery. You can see many monks moving about and also spot a nun or two. You can see the atmosphere of learning, piety and power. This is a place that enjoys the direct support of kings and nobles, not to mention the Pope. Mm, now, I don't want to decide that. Let the dice decide that one oh, one two three number two that means i may study the magnificent architecture here sadly that, that, that didn't give us any points now how is does it look with you oh. we won against dog landulf the just of kapow and he is now an imperial subject. Randolph is now known as the Cruel. We have a lot of messages. This is a bit annoying when you play the Holy Roman Empire. Duke Radulf the Cruel. Hmm. At age 53, your fellow member of the imperial court died. I think this is the Emperor's mother. Who died in the dungeon of Arpad Salamun. Hmm. The many mysteries in the Catholic faith. It might be interesting to spend some time delving into the old texts of the Bible. I will dedicate more time to reading the conscripts. Uh, or in general, read the scripts. Duke Ordulf, I can still claim a the due reward, but I don't want to right now. Amzen has been released. Whoever that guy is. Yeah, I'm also not that interested in that. Thank you. Our common interest binds us together. Um, your dedication to religious pursuits has been noticed around the realm. Among others, it has quite impressed Bogislav. You have maintained correspondence on various religious and philosophical matters for some time and find that you are rapidly becoming good friends. Our common interests bind us together. Uh, uh, uh. 
Mm -hmm. One of the dukes of Nuremberg has been executed. Meaning it fell into the hands of Heinrich III. And Cardinal Alderwin voted against him. I'm, I'm a bit... Uh, yeah, the tradition faction is now neutral. Why are we neutral? Oh, because we have that guy in our ranks. The insane lunatic of the Mertoli of Campari mutilated me. Oh boy. And Emperor Heinrich the Fearless, he just wages war after war. <laughs> he just tries to expand this realm. And also he will marry someone from very low standing. I don't like that. Empress Jelke, he already marries her. A creation from the house Isblagariat. Do they even have someone in their house? It is a barren house. Wow, this is very, very, very unprestigious. And we will probably not like that. Ugh. Someone from so low standing. No, we don't like that. And he reserved the Ted Grand City title from Amalfi. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is an interesting little side note. The Duke de Wiels actually created the most serene republic of Naples. Yeah, I don't. I also don't know what I should think of that. Um, this republic has a agnetic open elective where his brother as it seems yeah his brother Roger can inherit the title I personally don't know what this is all about but it exists <laughs> just so that you know they even have 14,000 troops I do wonder why events spawned my lord, the lords of Holy Roman Empire have approved the inst institution for low demands control. I think this is just a low centralization. Yeah. Radov attempted to imprison Hato. Interesting. And oh, Meissen calls us into a war against Thuringia, against the Count of Thuringia or the Landgrave, the Land, the Landgraf, basically. Um. Your wisdom and mercy legendary request your honor and obligations to call to Agam against Landgraf Kuno of Thuringia. Of course, we're going to help him in his little endeavor. He helped us against the Saxons, we help him against the Thuringians. At least against the Ludovinger dynasty. Let's call it the Ludovinger dynasty. I don't want to call it against the Thuringians because he's a Thuringian himself. And for what does he fight for? Ah, for Wei Weimar. He wants Weimar. Hmm. And pay him. Uh, we're just going to pay back our loan. Now we are no longer in debt. But also don't have a huge financial pillow that we can rest on. Maybe we even have to release the Deosh. And now there is a plague. My god. The smallpox is in our kingdom. Well, we are right now not in our capital. We are now at Mittelmark. So we are just going to march upon them. Oh boy. I mean, we don't even have any sort of commanders. Oh boy, we even have our first case of flu. Do we even have a court physician? We have a court physician. Michael. Or Michael. Yeah, let's close the gates because before something bad happens. Yeah, and we're going to seal ourselves into our own small little room. And we don't have anyone who can command the troops. Every single one is right now in um, in custody. Oops! That wasn't planned. No, I didn't want to do that. I'm sorry. Um... My liege's council is uh, discontent. Now, why is that? Hmm. I would love if the council would give some sort of reasoning behind that. Huh. 
Uh, this could mean that there will be probably a uh, lot of factions. Spionage Meister. Members seek to install Spionage Meister Gerhard of the Holy Roman Empire to the throne of the Holy Roman Empire. When sufficient powerful may present an ultimatum to Emperor Heinrich the Fearless. Prince Bishop Bertolf. Uh, no, I don't like that. This insane guy. No, I'm not going to. Oh, he wants. Oh, okay, he wants to install this guy. Oh, I understand. Margrave and Hans became good friends. This is, of course, a good thing. Are we even still a voter? No, we're not. Hmm. And everyone votes for Count Florence of um, the Careless of Holland. Interesting, interesting. We can make a new important decision, hold another f uh, faction meeting, but we're not going to. As long as this smallpox um, plague is yeah, plaguing us. And we now conquered Weimar even further. The Amt of Erfurt is now ours. And the last one is the Bishopric of Mem Memleben. <laughs> and Duke Ordulf died. And with him now Duke Magnus someone a, is a weak claimant actually on the Kingdom of Norway interestingly enough. Yeah, the weak Duke Magnus is now the new count. And after this war is done and after this plague has passed on we are going to um, conquer Magdeburg for a long while now you have not felt the presence of the Lord in your thoughts you are starting to wonder whether there's really any truth the Bible in the Bible or perhaps just been a book written by clever liars now we of course will not say it must be so the Lord is dead these blasphemous feelings will soon be passed oh and we get the trade to pressed oh and we have to send our first oh god our first um, dowry but we don't have the money for that I will be so consequent enough to say we have to loan us money we cannot because we went on seclusion yet yeah, this has to wait the marriage has to wait sadly we cannot let those two guys marry unless we can send a dowry. I'm sorry. Oh boy, he will also send now in a very short time a message which you cannot just ignore. I think Wilhelm is now a bit... Yeah, he is already there. <laughs> we cannot already say yes to that. No, we cannot give it our blessings, this marriage. Alright, and now we have to destroy them. We have to send a dowry, otherwise... Otherwise the marriage will be not rightful against my house, uh, for my house rules. And yeah, let's just wait a bit. 15, 22, 20, 10, oop, and... Your steward wants to talk about the old tunnels under the castle. The argument is that they should be maintained better now that times are rough. You never know when you will get out and quickly. A splendid idea, actually. I do like this idea. My leash! My, uh, Michael catches up with you as you are strolling down the main hall. He looks concerned and you order him to spit it out. Whatever the news is. The tunnels, my lord. He breathes and continues to tell... But it seems somebody has been using them. The guards are stumbling upon tools and torches recently used by the looks of it. It's a great opportunity for an ambush. We have to, of course, look into that. Aha, the good old Radegund the Reckless comes in. Your guards have captured someone in the tunnels. However, the person does not seem to be completely stable. Your guards' faces are not showing the usual bloodthirst when they present Radegund this recluse, a starved-looking and oddly jumpy person. Now... We are arbitrary, but we are also... Hmm. We're not cruel. Let's hear what she has to tell. You approach the locked door warily. Inside, Radegund is talking quietly to herself. The guards tell you that she claims to have a lover at court. They were on the way back into the castle when her beloved fell ill. Devastated from the loss, she remained in the tunnels. She doesn't seem to be all there, my lord. Oh well. Well, we are a bit lustful, so 
I will say she can join. You know, with some background thoughts. And just as I said, just as I thought. You are absent-mindedly flipping through a book after another long day where there is light tap on your door. Before you can get up, the op door is open and Radegund enters. She slightly crosses the room, slowly unbutting her nightdress. Her intentions are plain as day in her smoldering eyes. Oh well. Oh, Radegund, I thought you would never come. Of course we did it like that. A little affair. In the mists. Um... While this is happening, we are destroying the army of the Thuringians of the Landgravia. Landgravia, whatever you call it. And we won the war. We cannot disband our army. 